In Moodle, once you have groups set up, you may want to use groupings, which is groups of groups. So as you can see within my module, I have uh, two activities, one set up for Team A, one set up for Team B, and I only want certain people to access each of these activities. So to set up groupings within the module, we come up to Participants, and then under the Actions menu, the cog over here, click groups and here you can see I already have my groups set up with two students in each so I'm going to create a grouping so we click grouping here and then I'll create my second grouping So now we have two groupings, Team A, Team B. We see that no groups have been assigned yet, so we can do that now. We come over here, we click on this person icon, and now we can move any of our groups over into the grouping. So for Team A, let's say we have Group A, Group C, and Group E can hold down control and click to select multiple. We click add and now we can see that we have group A, C and E. And we go back to groupings and now we can see here team A consists of group A, C and E. And now to assign some groups to team B. We select group B, hold down control and select group D and click add. We now have group B and D as part of team B. So we can see neither of them have been added to an activity yet so we'll go back to the module and then we we'll click edit settings on the activity and then down here under common module settings, under group mode, we select separate groups, and then this grouping option appears where we can select team A, and then we can click this add group grouping res access restriction, and what that does is set this area up for you. The student must match the grouping of team A. We click save and return to course. And now on our activity we can see that it's restricted and it's not available unless you belong to a group in team A. And we'll just do the same for team B. Come down to common module settings, group mode, separate groups, team B We'll add that access restriction. Just double check that it's been done. Click save and to return to course. And now you have two activities separated. We have several groups within each team and only members of that team can access the activity.